to all of you, wherever you may be, from the Juventus Stadium in the Alpine city of Turin. And here we have Germany against Turkey. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. for the game. Tries a through ball. Chalhanolu. Chalhanolu has got himself a free kick. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Take the lead. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Turkey have an early lead, good start. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Osjokup passes it through, looks like a good ball through. Chalanolu looks to slip it through. Out to the flank, he's made sure that that won't get through. Tries to get it forward quickly. Germany are already trailing here early on. They cannot afford to let this get worse. 
The only consolation at this stage is that they've got a lot of time on their side. You try to find a positive for any eventuality, and while an early concession is unwanted, they can recover this. Surely a shot. He has done it. They have hauled themselves right back into it. An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss. certainly made things interesting. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Sade. So midway through the first half, and it is a tight old tie. Tony Kroos, and it's Sané. Toprak hurtles into the tackle. Big chance, corner. Played it short, now the cross. And back out it comes. Great reaction! Now the pass. Good run through the middle, but he needs support. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Goretzka. Passes it through. And he's cut it out. Well positioned to make that interception. Goretzka. Played out to the right. Sane floats one over. Play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Tries the route one option. Sane tries a through ball. Sane Chelhanolu. Ozukup, who has made his impact already. Chelhanolu. He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. <sighs> it's on a plate! to safety. Now it's Sané. Looks like a good ball through. Osjokov. Shelhanolu. It's a long forward pass. And he has been fouled there. Oh, lots on that one, but he couldn't find the target. Well, technically, that was a beautifully struck shot from so far out. I just thought he was a little unlucky then. And it's Goretzka. Sané gets his foot in there. Plays a clever pass. Goal, Germany! And the comeback is complete!
Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. goes for half time the midway point of the game well give me a moment to get my breath back uh, what a super half of football incident pack goals comebacks and the match being turned on its head which way it's going to go from here it's anyone's guess germany and into the half time break with a narrow advantage it is 2-1 Here we go again then. Goes long and forward. Gets into some space. Osjakov. Shalhanolu. Pushes it out wide. Goretzka. Where to from here? Chelhanolu. Sane. That's surely a foul free kick. He has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. He's gone direct. Oh, what a save. He had a long way to go. Well, what a tester for the goalkeeper because it was struck with real venom and I thought he dealt with it really well. Solchuk Inan. Turkey have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into... Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Looks to slip it through. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Germany haven't made a substitution yet. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Tony Kroos. Goretzka. Chalhanolu did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Osjakov. Now it's Burak Yilmaz. Tony Kroos into the last quarter of an hour. Tony Kroos, aimed long and direct. It was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. Osjakov. 
Moves out on the left now. Oh, good interception. Back to the keeper and try something new. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from, um, from getting another. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Royce. Cook throws it out to the flank, pumps it upfield. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Royce, Germany just have to run down the clock, and it's Royce. Selchuk Inan is the guilty party there. Tries lifting it over. Germany have a free kick. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. <laughs> Firmly met. It's Royce. Defense has got rid of that. Looks like a good ball through. It's a brilliant interception. And the referee brings it to a close. Well, somehow they turned it round. Every ounce of energy, emotional, physical, mental, is spent. That is some win. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, all I want to add here is that I thought they were very brave. I think they, they stood face to face with their opposition to see who'd come off best. And um, I think they probably deserve to come out on top. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.